Hello and welcome Virgo. I am Pisces Intuition here with your weekly reading. Alright, so Virgo, uh, keep in mind this is a general reading, so not everything may resonate with your situation. That's okay. Just take what does and leave the rest. Alright, Virgo. Working hard, patiently waiting for something. Um, I keep getting you're manifesting something. You're trying to bring something in. Um, I also keep getting you being very focused. Okay. Um, bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Pentacles. I keep getting some of you are going to be traveling. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> um, I, I just keep getting travel for you here. So you have the Seven of Pentacles, you have the Four of Chalices, Ten of Wands, and the Ace of Athames or the Ace of Swords. Four of Chalices would be the Four of Cups. All right. So again, I do feel like you are waiting. I feel like for some of you, you're waiting on communication. Um, for others of you, it just kind of feels like you're waiting on that person. Um, you're waiting on, you know, someone who who's going to kind of wake up some love in you. Um, it feels like, you know, maybe you've been single for some time and you're just waiting on that special someone to come knocking at your door, you know, to kind of just, you know, start something with here. Um, I do feel like for some of you, you, you feel kind of stuck or you've had like a hard time. Um, I, I keep getting like struggling. I keep getting being very overwhelmed. It kind of feels like maybe with finances as well as your love life. Um, I keep getting like a little bit of loneliness here, Virgo. Um, and I don't feel, I don't know. I can't tell if you're missing someone or if you're just missing like the idea or the thought of a relationship, you know, um, like you just, you want that companionship because it doesn't really feel like you're singled out and missing one particular person. It just, again, it kind of feels like you're, you're just focusing on like just missing like companionship. Like you want partnership, you want a relationship with someone, um, with the Ace of Athames here, I do get like you're, you're going to be getting some kind of clarity to um, your situation. I do feel like um, there's going to be a new beginning. There's going to be a new opportunity for sure. But it kind of does feel like it takes a little while. Um, so again, just kind of putting that out there. I am so sorry for my neighbor's dogs. All right, so Seven of Pentacles, we have the Three of Swords, the King of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups. Um, so on the other um, bottom of the deck here, you have the Queen of Pentacles. So, you know, this is wanting to, I keep getting wanting to start something new, but also wanting some kind of commitment, you know, something. Um, I keep getting being very uh, grounded as well. Um, so I don't know if you're you know, kind of focusing on like, you know, your, your energy, grounding your energy or focusing on, um, cause maybe, you know, you felt a little bit, you know, out of sorts. Um, you know, whatever this is, I just, I feel you kind of, you know, focusing more on you kind of focusing more on possibly, like I said, finances or your own security, your own stability. But it's just like, I do want that companionship. I feel like I'm in a good place where I want a partner. Um, so you have the Page of Cups, King of Pentacles, and Three of Swords. That's clarifying the Seven of Pentacles. I do feel like, you know, again, you've you've been single for some time. You know, you've been patiently waiting for someone um, to bring in that partnership. With the King of Pentacles, you know, you're, you're looking for commitment. You're not looking for someone who wants to play games. You're looking for commitment. But you are looking for someone who is fun, who is flirty, who, you know, is someone new. I keep getting you want something new. All right, so clarifying the Four of Chalices here, or the Four of Cups. You have the Lover's card. You have Eight of Pentacles. And you have the Four of Wands. Wow. Um, <laughs> so I do feel like communication, um, not only communication, but I do feel like there's going to be a love situation that's going to be coming your way. Like I said, from the beginning of the reading, I kind of felt like a manifesting, like you're trying to manifest something or make something happen. And I feel like it is a partnership. Um, with the lovers and the eight of pentacles, like I said, I real, really feel like you're kind of being focused on this. I feel like you're making decisions and I feel like you're ready to move forward. Um, again, I do feel like you are wanting commitment. I keep getting your wanting change. Um, so I'm not sure what that means. You know, if you're maybe your last relationships, they just haven't been committed or you haven't felt committed, but I feel like maybe you're ready to kind of settle down. Um, 
or it's like, you know, again, you're, you're looking for that special someone. It's like, you know, you've had fun dating and everything, but now you're, you're wanting someone to just kind of, you know, be serious with someone who it's like, okay, I don't have to worry about like dating and, you know, we're, we've got a commitment. All right. So clarifying the 10 of wands, we have the two of pentacles, the sun card, and then we have judgment here. Um, so again, what I keep getting for that is I do feel like you are making decisions. I do feel like, and again, you feel kind of overwhelmed, like there's a lot that needs to be done or there's a lot that you need to do. I keep getting um, walking a long road or it's like it's kind of difficult or hard by yourself. Um, you know, it's like, again, you're, I keep getting you just being in search of something. Um, again, looking to make some kind of change or to make something happen. And I feel like that's also what you're kind of trying to figure out. You're trying to decide. Um, with judgment and, and the sun card, see, I almost said decision. I do feel like you are making a decision. Um, and I do feel like, you know, again, it's, you know, it's like um, seeing hope. Um, it's that light at the end of the tunnel. It's seeing that, you know, there are some good things coming your way. Um, but it's like really kind of, like I said, making some big decisions here. Um, I keep getting somebody's going to be moving as well. So maybe that's why, like when I, I picked up travel all of a sudden, um, maybe it's, you know, because somebody is moving. Um, but I do get some really big decisions. Like I said, really kind of coming your way here. So clarifying the Ace of Athames or Ace of Swords, we have Queen of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands. All right. So this is really kind of about, you know, again, making that decision to give yourself a second chance, you know, making that decision to say, it's time to release what I've been holding on to and what, you know, honestly has been holding me back. You know, it's time to release that. It's time to let that go. Again, you have the Queen of Pentacles, which is telling you you're going to be okay. You are sitting pretty, you know, and it doesn't have to just be because, you know, you're a female, you know, queen. No, this is also for my, for my masculines, for my guys out there. You know, it, it doesn't matter, you know, gender. It does matter that you feel confident. You feel independent. You feel like you have everything that you could possibly need. You feel secure. You feel stable just being you. Um, I also feel like, you know, again, there's going to be some kind of focus on finances. Um, and I feel like there's going to be a, an improvement as far as finances goes. Um, with the Six of Wands, like I said, I, I'm getting some kind of reward. Um, this could be like a bonus. This could be, um, you know, pay raise. Like, you know, hey, you know, we've noticed that you've been working your tail off. And, you know, it's time that you get, you know, again, some kind of... Um, pay raise or, you know, something like that. Um, but yeah, but I, I just kind of feel like it all starts with kind of releasing, like I said, kind of giving yourself the answers, kind of giving yourself that clarity. And it's like, you know, just kind of accepting, like, you know, things aren't going to be okay. Things are going to happen when they're going to happen. All right. So like I said, I am seeing a new person coming your way. I am seeing that partnership and that companionship headed towards you, making a choice. Yeah, like I said, it's all about just kind of what you need to let go of, what you need to release, what is keeping you stuck. All right, one more, please. Wide open. Okay, I'm actually, one more did come out, so I'm going to go ahead and take it. Um, movement. Bottom of the deck is rock bottom. So again, feeling possibly, you know, like really overwhelmed to the point where it's just like, I can't go any, you know, I can't feel any worse than this. Um, that could be going on. But like I said, with wide open, this is kind of accepting things. This is kind of like, you know, again, releasing and also kind of like surrendering over to the universe. Just kind of saying, okay, you know, I'm releasing this and I'm trusting you that, you know, I'm, I'm going to get what's meant for me. Um, but again, I do feel like this brings progress. This brings movement, no matter how fast, no matter how slow movement is progress. And I do feel, you know, again, you're, you're really kind of opening up your heart space, especially with that wide open to, um, to a lot of opportunities. All right. 
Okay. <laughs> so you have wings. You never needed those wings to fly. Yeah. Again, I feel like you are kind of killing it on your own here, Virgo. I feel like, you know, you have got some amazing qualities about you and I feel like you're going to end up using those. I feel like you are going to be progressing. I feel like you're going to be getting the answers you need as well as some kind of well-deserved reward that is heading your way. All right. All right, so we have I, we have U, we have D, we have Y. We have two I's, three I's. <laughs> we have an E, we have an R, and we have another E. Okay, um, read. Somebody could be, you know, like instrumental, musical, um, but I also feel like that's somebody's name. Hmm. Um, I'm getting I, so again, getting some kind of clarity, being able to see something clearly. Um, I'm also getting those three eyes. So it's kind of like me, myself, and I, kind of, you know, again, things falling into alignment, focusing on self-love, focusing on yourself, and again, definitely kind of healing. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take some charms. So you have a little charm of Aries. So you could possibly be dealing with an Aries. Could be possibly dealing with a, um, um, a water sign, possibly Pisces. I keep getting somebody going hunting. <laughs> um, and when the fish came out, that just kind of like you know, confirmed what I was already kind of getting, but I keep getting somebody going hunting, um, possibly fishing as well, but I do keep getting like getting out in nature, kind of, you know, whether you're actually like hiking or um, hunting, it's just you're getting out in nature, um, which I feel is really going to be helpful. It's going to be really, um, really therapeutic for you. All right. So then we have a little tool here, which just kind of tells me that, you know, there's something that you need to fix in your life or there's something that you're focusing and that you are fixing in your life. Um, so again, it, it just feels like really important here. All right. So then we have the little, what is this? A little, it looks like a Dalmatian, a little dog. So I keep getting loyalty. Hmm. All right, we also have the little heart with the uh, cross in it. So if for somebody, this could be like some kind of spiritual awakening. Um, for others of you, like I said, I, I feel like you're going out into nature to kind of get back in touch with nature to kind of, again, start the healing process. And I also keep getting, um, again, kind of like finding forgiveness um, and having faith. All right. So then we have a little palm tree, which is telling me something about strength. Um, you know, I keep getting like you're going through a storm, but you're still standing. So, all right. Well, that is what I have for you, Virgo. So hopefully this helps. This gives you some kind of insight. Um, thank you so very much for watching. I do appreciate each and every one of you guys. As always, I hope you have a beautiful week ahead and take care.